Number one, oxidation number of oxygen during electrolysis of aluminium oxide. So what happens is at the start, oxygen will be O2 minus and then it's oxidized at the anode to become oxygen gas O2. And because the anode, which is made of graphite, is carbon, the carbon and oxygen will react to form carbon dioxide. So this is how the oxid how the oxygen changes during the reaction. Right now, let's check the oxidation number. When it's O two minus, oxidation number is minus two. Oxygen gas element zero. In a compound in carbon dioxide, oxygen each one is minus two. So we can see that it increases by two units and then it decreases by two units. Number two, we have to find out what is the second ionization energy of sodium. Second ionization energy is removal of one electron from a positively charged sodium. So we have Na+, plus. we remove one electron from it to form Na2+, plus. that is the second ionization energy. So this is the equation we are aiming for. We have to check which of the equations from these four can we combine to get this final equation. So we need Na plus gas to appear. So the first equation will be the one that we select but the Na plus gas is on the right side. Right? This Na plus gas is on the other side, the left side. So what we have to do is we will have to flip this equation out or flip this equation around and write it in the reverse direction. And because we flip it around in the in this direction the change is W. In the opposite direction, the change is minus W. Now we need to see which equation gives us Na2 plus gas and also which equation gives us Na gas because you realize that the overall equation, there is no Na gas. Right? So somehow we have to remove Na gas and have an Na gas on the left side. We have Na2 plus gas here. We have Na gas here. So Na2 plus, we expect it to be on the right side. So this, we will write it as it is in this order. And because we follow this order, the energy change will also be x. Right? And if we do a quick check, we can cancel the Na gas, okay, which is what we want because they shouldn't appear in the final equation. We can cancel one of the electron. And then when we combine them, we have Na plus, Na2 plus and one electron. So combining these two equations gives us the second ionization energy. And then we have minus W and X. So the overall change for the second ionization energy is X minus W. Which ion has more electrons than protons and more protons than neutrons? We will make it easier for ourselves. We will try to figure out this statement first. More electrons than protons. In other words, you have more negative charge than positive charge. You will have to be an overall of a negative charge or you have to be a negatively charged ion. Right? So 
With that, we can actually eliminate option B because option B is a positive H3O plus. So that cannot be. We want to have a negative ion. And then we will look at this info. We have more protons than neutrons. So we just need to compare protons and neutrons and leave electrons aside for now. D minus or rather D has one proton and one neutron taking the top number minus the bottom number so we want more protons than neutrons this is out O itself has eight protons and eight neutrons D one proton one neutron. Again, total of nine protons and nine neutrons, it doesn't satisfy this this information here. So it's out. It has to be D. So we check. Oxygen here. Eight protons. Eight neutrons. Hydrogen here will have one proton. And because the top number is also one, that means he has no neutrons. So zero neutrons. Total of nine protons and eight neutrons. So D will be our required species. Right, so figure out which one could not be based of the charges first. And then you will just need to look at the protons and neutrons. Number four, which factor affect the value of the activation energy? Well, it can be a simple recall question. Activation energy basically is affected by catalyst. So the catalyst will change the value of activation energy. Changing the concentration, changing the temperature or changing the concentration will affect whether the equilibrium shifts to the left or the right or you know, whether it's faster or slower. Decrease in temperature, same thing, will shift the equilibrium, it will make things or the reaction go slower. Increase in temperature makes the reaction goes faster and all that. They do not affect the activation energy which is only affected by the catalyst.